If you look towards Saunton Sands Hotel, everything from there on that far peninsula right around to the far sand hills, that is completely rubbish dump. Yep. The original rubbish dump to the right and the one which is mounded and looks like sand hills is the county council That's tip. Correct, yeah. Now, the actual tip itself isn't out there, it starts here. Yep. This was built as a, a early days defense to, to improve the grazing on the burrows. So the tip starts here and travels for well over a mile to the sea. So this rubbish tip is a mile in length. Now the worry is that this road, the road is built on top of compacted rubbish. 40, 50, 60, going on for 70 years since yes, it's been yes. in the construction. One of the great difficulties is that there seems to be some sort of legal wrangle going on that is stopping the authorities and the county council and Torridge really working well together. Now what I'm delighted to do today is to put my arm around Andrew Eastman, he's my county councillor, I'm the Torridge councillor, we can work together all right can't we? Of course we? we can and we certainly will and work we together. Need, we need everybody to work together, we even natural England. Everybody. Over the past seven, eight years, during my first two terms of office as the county councillor for this whole area, this tip has been a constant problem which Devon County Council have recognised that will continue to uh, grow and be a serious issue, especially now with these massive spring tides which are uh, approaching the end of February, uh, now March, This with the moon as we know it, we are heading for serious trouble, especially when the seas will be breaching these uh, tips at threat and the membrane that we're going to look at in the near future will be a serious problem that Devon County Council have got to address. Now if we look in the distance we can see the waves breaking. Look there's the Oldenburg going out to sea. Now on a spring tide the water is going to pour over the ridge and it fills this lagoon. Now this lagoon is actually sea level. Now in front of us is the road built on compacted rubbish. Now if this breached, as has happened at Braunton, the sea, the lagoon, and to my right, the river will become one. And that rubbish tip will be on an island, yeah. which is just quite frightening. So we tend to look at this from Westwood Ho's point of view and the risks of the beaches, etc but the pollution in the river will be tremendous. But more important almost than that is that if this tip is allowed to go out by the sea, the waves are going to roll in and profoundly affect West Appledore. West Appledore is pro protected, really West Appledore, by a series of little sea walls put there when the properties were built. I shudder to think what will happen um, if the tip is allowed to go. As you've just recorded Appledore in the background, we all know only too well that if the threat of this being inundated with sea and this becomes an island, and I'm standing on what has been classified as our tip over the years underneath, which has been covered over, this is a major tragedy waiting to happen that we must, in every way possible, by speaking with Nick, C Councillor Nick Laws, as you have been doing, of the Torridge District Council, and I, as the Devon County Councillor for this whole area of Northern Westerho and Appledore, we have got to do everything within our powers to try very hard to see that this is dealt with and this is all prevented in the best possible way. Well, here we are, stood on top of the rubbish dump, and we're looking down, and we can see the sea, and out there is where the pebble ridge has been breached. It will smash to pieces, is a better way of putting it. Now, on a big tide, and at the minute it's just small tides, but on a big tide, the water comes over into that first lot of rushes in the distance, comes through here, where we see these big puddles, and it enters the new inland sea, which is running right around 
behind us. Uh, if we look into the far distance over there, where the great sea rushes were, we can see water, that's at sea level. So when we get a big tide, we get a huge area flooded, which has now become the new inland sea. So now we need a solution. A huge problem, but we needs to be addressed. We're stood on top here of 250 million cubic meters of waste. No wonder it's still leaching methane. We have to find a solution. We can get together and we can talk and get a policy. You can't move it, it's vast. This tip is over a mile long. So I think what is gonna have to happen is that the parts at risk, and I'm not talking about a few feet here, this complete uh, um, seaward side of the tip, we will have to remove the soil and put a membrane in several acres big and then recover with soil. This it will at least give time for other solutions to be looked at. But to do nothing is just inviting the disaster to happen.